31st, 2022, and for the first time in a score, I'm over here at Kaiser Nice Elementary subbing, and I'm subbing for a fifth grade class today. And I was here for summer school literally 20 years ago in 2002 and 21, so it should be a fun day today. Well, the day's about half over. I just sent them out to lunch. I just got done teaching math, and this is the first time outside of Ensign Intermediate School where I actually help teach math, more like teach, tutor, and such. And then afterward, I showed them a couple of math shortcuts here. Uh, this is what a student did, so he got it. And this is what I taught them and such. Um, I kind of did this one, 5,048 squared. This would take a lot, a lot to explain. Um, they're doing functions, inputs, outputs, and such. So I just had to give them like a little intro to algebra here. It's neat that they're learning that, as well as scientific notation and such. And I'm like, I'm glad to help teach math of something I could teach because when I was at Ray Elementary, they're doing the some Common Core thing. I'm like, this is not how I was taught. Why are you teaching it like this? But, you know, I helped out the best I could, but this time I got to help out uh, very well, I felt. So, uh, it's a very good class. I just did this numbers trick right here where I opened the envelope and I said, on this day, three students will pick a three-digit number whose sum would equal uh, 1,465. This was the sum in, in the notebooks, and then this was in the envelope that I sealed last night. So that's when they really got blown away right there. So the days uh, so far so good. In fact, one of the students here is actually a former Royal Ranger, whom I know, and he's also in my youth group with his brother who's also at Ensign. So. And already a lot of them are asking me if I could sub tomorrow or, or teach uh, grade six next year or something like that. So I really take the, that as a compliment. So that went very fun, a very excellent day. And by the end of the day, there were several, several students almost begging me if I could come back tomorrow and sub for them. And I'm like, well, if it's available on Frontline, then I'll probably accept. But I told them it was a pleasure serving their class, and I said, I hope that you have an excellent rest of the school year and next year, too. And I might sub for them again in the future. I also got to talk with the principal. I got to meet her, a very nice person, and said that I'm an author and willing to volunteer and juggle, so I might be here in the next academic year to do so. It is June 1st, 2020. I'm once again back here at Ensign, and today I'm actually delivering a hand copy of my book right here that's going to go to the library that the librarian requested. So I've written this and I'm going to give this copy to them today. And also, I am subbing for that same history class that I subbed for a couple weeks ago. He was my history teacher, so once again, I'm subbing for one of my former teachers. Uh, U.S. History, 8th grade, and it should be a fun day. Here I am once again outside room 52 in my former history class right back behind me. In fact, last week I came by on the other side and I got to say hi to the teacher and he was remarkably impressed that I was in there subbing for him. What's also interesting subbing for history today is that I actually voted today in the midterms, so I thought that's quite a coincidence as well. Vote today went great subbing. A very interesting thing happened. One of the students in that class actually bought my book and she had it out. Also, in a later period, a student asked me if I could give an autographed copy, so she took the book that she purchased out from her backpack and asked if I could sign it, and I did, so I'm really, really appreciative of that. Also, when I got home from school today, I accepted a substitute position on Frontline for tomorrow, and you and I have to wait till tomorrow to find out, which is in like two seconds. And just like that, it is June 2nd, 2022, and I'm out here at Newport Heights Elementary School. So I'm going to be subbing for another fourth grade class again, but this time it's going to be a different teacher, and that teacher was there when I was a student. I know him well. Uh, he was a fifth grade teacher, but not my fifth grade teacher, but when we did rotations, he was the science one. And I'm glad to be back here. Brought all my juggling stuff and incentives and all that. So uh, today should be a fun day. Well, so far so good. Five minutes of it. <laughs> they have PE this morning, so they're just dropped off over there, and then they'll come back. But already, a few of them recognized me from when they were in first grade in the first grade classroom that I would juggle for. And right before I picked them up in line, I ran into that first grade teacher, the one who wasn't there the last time I subbed here, and I'm like, finally, we're working in the same school together, and he was completely blown away, and he introduced me to his class, who was also lined up by his door, and he said on June 10th, he's going to come to bring some surprises, so we've already 
coordinated that on June 10th I'm going to be juggling for his first grade class. And the PE teacher was my PE teacher 15 years ago, so it was good to be reacquainted again. Um, I asked and confirmed that he was the same person, and he said, yeah, I was here for like 20, 25 years or something like that. And I'm like, well, I was, I was one of the students here, and I was in your PE class, so. Okay, and today just went fantastic. I really enjoyed today, all the tricks, the juggling and everything. They were all blown away and really enjoyed it very much. And um, I asked afterward and one person said that today was a 10 out of 10, so that's very reassuring. Um, science, they were talking about the rock cycle. When I was observing uh, seventh grade science at Ensign, they were doing the rock cycle a few months ago, so I got to teach a little bit of science. I got to help a little bit of math. I also ran into some other fourth grade students who remembered me from when I was a sub a couple of weeks ago. So they remembered me and said hi and waved and everything. And after class today, I told the students that they were a very kind and respectful class. I really appreciated it. It was a pleasure to be their sub and that I was sure let the teacher know how they behaved. It's June 3rd, 2022. I'm over here at College Park Elementary School. First time subbing over here. And what's special about this is this is my very first school. I attended here in preschool. September 9th, 1999 to August 5th, 2000. I have vivid memories here. I have lots of YouTube videos uh, from here back in 1999 and 2000. So it's just amazing to be here. I'll never forget this place or the teachers that I had. So it should be a fun day. And that classroom back there, the one to the left, that was my classroom, my preschool classroom right there where a lot of my home videos from preschool are at. Oh my word. This is amazing. I'm going to be subbing here. That's where we had the tricycles. That's where we had Thanksgiving um, a table. That's where we had uh, the pinata um, at Cinco de Mayo and all that. Oh my gosh. This was my first school 22 years ago. Wow. And right over here in room 22, of all numbers, that's my special number, I was born on the 22nd. I love the number 22, 722 and all that, so anyway. So this morning I was getting ready for everything, I was looking over the sub notes. I look up one by one and I saw a lot of students put their backpacks on the rack and um, they were all looking in and waving and I was waving and they are waving back and I was waving back and such, so it was a very cordial morning. This morning they had flag deck and the principal came up to me and he's like, Matthew, Oh my gosh, you're here! Because I knew him like 10, 15 years ago at Newport Heights Elementary. Now he's the principal here. So the principal got up in front of everybody and one of the first things he said was, Boy, I'm starting to feel very old today. I just ran into a student from when I was a teacher back at Newport Heights so long ago. He is Matthew, Mr. Kenslow, thank you for being here and such. So he wasn't my teacher, but that's where we met at Newport Heights and, and we know each other well. When we came back here, a lot of the students figured out that I was a YouTuber and uh, they requested and we did have a few minutes, uh, several minutes in fact, because of a little change in the schedule. And so I showed them the video from 1999, December 1999. And you can watch it up here if you want. And it was about the Christmas concert that we had in the NPR. And today is their like spring concert uh, here in about 20 minutes. And so that's going to take place in that NPR. I could hear them practicing already. And when they were watching it, they were actually pointing out like, hey, I remember that. Oh, the tree's so small there. The jungle gym's new. Wow. And, and they even recognized a person in the background to the video who still works here. And it's like, hey, it's Miss So-and-so. And they were just, I mean, they just loved the video and, and it just brought me joy. The students were very blown away that I was a student here 22 years ago. Just wow, it is so incredibly surreal to be standing right here again after 22 years. This is where I had preschool, there used to be a bench right there, and there used to be a fence over there, we had a pinata over there, we stood by that gate fence behind me and watched Santa Claus descend on a helicopter, so it was it's just amazing to be here. I was here earlier today, and one of my students came by and said, having memories Mr. Cancelo? I'm like, yeah, you better believe it. Yes, a lot of memories. Well, I survived today. It was a blast. And during the spring sing that they had, I was asked by the principal, the one whom I knew for over 15 years, if I could juggle for a grade. So at the end of school today, I got to juggle for the entire third grade, and it was wonderful. I got to show like a card trick and a coin trick too. And once again, the students just said that I that they had a great time and that I'm their favorite. 
teacher. Another thing is, is when I was attending their spring sing, it was so surreal. I mean, just to be in that NPR again, it kind of looks the same from that 1999 video that I showed them earlier. I also ran into some teachers and office personnel who were here when I was a student here, and I showed them my class picture and such. They didn't recognize all the teachers that I showed them in my class picture. They recognized the principal and such, but that was it. So uh, they thought it was neat that I still had those memories. I just want to take a moment to pause real quick and say that I am outside Davidson Field, Newport Harbor High School, and today is Wednesday, June 8th, 2022, and today was the promotion of the 8th graders at Ensign Intermediate School there behind me. And I just want to stop and say a big congratulations. I know that you've worked hard the past two years, and I hope all goes well in high school. I'll never forget my 8th grade promotion. The only difference was it was held at Ensign, so a smaller field, uh, Wednesday, June 17th, 2009, and I led everyone in the flag salute. But this field behind me is where I graduated class of 2013, Newport Harbor High School, June 20th, 2013. So I know that today must have been an exciting day, and to any 8th grader listening, or now former 8th grader, a big congratulations. And being a substitute teacher and a student teacher, I ran into quite a few of them, if not all of them, and they've been very kind, very respectful, and I really appreciate that. I hope all goes well in high school, and have an excellent summer, a summer break. You guys deserve it. I also wanted to append something very neat. Half my life ago, I was a student at Ensign. 13 years ago, when I was 13 years old, I was in eighth grade. And what's very interesting is that the seventh and eighth graders were born at the time I was in seventh and eighth grade. The seventh graders were born when I was in eighth grade, and the eighth graders were born when I was around seventh grade. And some of their birth dates, which since it's easy to remember dates and such, I remember around the time they were born and some of the students there I actually remember the day they were born and I told them about it sometimes I have YouTube videos of the day that they were born and I'm like my goodness what an interesting world how all that just works out like that June 9th 2022 and this time I'm outside California Elementary School but I'm not subbing this time but this time I'm actually going to be juggling for two classes of fourth graders in the NPR here so I'm pretty excited uh, the executive director of elementary education who was my former elementary school principal invited me here got me in contact with the principal so here i'm going to be juggling so i'm very happy about that and by fortuity it was actually 11 years and two days ago when i juggled for the second graders at newport heights elementary followed by the grade six because of that same principal so uh, full circle you can watch that video i'll link in the card above if you're interested but it should be a very fun uh, eventful day i'm going to be giving my encouragements at the same time and today just went phenomenal, joyous, it went perfect. I'm very happy of how it turned out. Again, the principal, we haven't seen each other in 11 years and two days, and um, he came up and introduced everyone. First, he told the fourth graders, and there were about 39, 40 of them, that school has been extended for two weeks, and then everyone started to groan, and then he was uh, said he was just joking. And then he uh, took five minutes, he introduced me, and he said how much that I have personally inspired him him uh, growing up and, and that I'm a person that have taken what I've been through but never gave up and I kept going and just uh, prepared the students for what I was going to show them. So I went up and I said, you know, this is the first time in 19 years since I've been to California Elementary because I was there the summer before third grade back in the summer of 2003 and I remember it, so it was good to be back there. So I juggled, I talked about autism, disability awareness, um, I talked about um, my juggling analogy about not giving up if things fall in life, if they drop, then just pick it back up and keep going. I talked about how everyone has different passions, how everyone has different skills, and I just encourage and motivate everyone to just find what they're passionate of doing. I gave my science demo analogy about not bottling things up inside, and they really enjoyed that too. And my B number one encouragement, which um, I have a video about that after I came up with it last November-ish. Uh, you can watch it up here if you're interested. I also got to share my presidential knowledge and my math shortcut knowledge. I went on to juggle bigger things, um, such as uh, basketball and two soccer balls. What I really appreciate is that they had a table set up with a document cam and a projector, so it made it easier to do the tricks. I did the rope trick where I turned these three pieces of rope into one piece of rope. I did a card trick. Uh, that baffled them as well and I also did my envelope trick where I say do not open until today's date this was sealed since last night uh, three people picked three digit numbers one person came up to add the numbers that were in the notebook and inside 
I said on June 9th, on this day, three students will pick three digit numbers uh, whose sum equals 1599, and that was the sum that the student added together. So, so I am very, very overjoyed of how today turned out. I told the principal that I'd of course be willing to do this again and again. I'm having my uh, advanced student teaching this fall, but maybe mid-December and for sure all of next spring 2023, I'd be happy to do this. I technically have all the time in the world and just go around different uh, elementary schools as well as um, secondary education. I talked with the principal at Ensign a few months ago about having an assembly at Ensign Intermediate and also the principal in Newport Harbor and such. So I think the uh, future looks very um, hopeful, very optimistic. I've uh, been waiting to do things like this for the past couple of years and since what we all know happened in 2020 occurred, it made everything a, a standstill, but I'm very fortunate that things opened up again and I'm now able to go to schools and share my encouragement and to juggle. And afterward, I was told that, you know, all those students are now very motivated and will probably always follow their passions and find their passion, what they want to do in life and to never give up in life on what they want to do. Hi, it's Friday, June 10th, 2022, and I'm over here at Newport Heights Elementary volunteering again. And it was a remarkable conclusion to a remarkable academic year. I just juggled for uh, three first grade classrooms inside one classroom, juggled and did uh, tricks, card tricks, number tricks, math tricks, president tricks. And today, the grade six students just got promoted today. I remember that 15 years ago, back in 07, when I was uh, promoted uh, June 22nd and such. And by fortuity, 10 years ago today, I was at Newport Harbor High School for the first annual Halo benefit. I dedicated a page and a half to Halo in my book, and I've performed in every annual since, all 11 of them. And so after I was done juggling and doing all the tricks and such, I was following the teacher out to the cafeteria and this teacher was my former third grade teacher. He was the one who invited me uh, to his classroom. We were communicating via text and uh, he got the other two first grade classrooms to join us. And while I was walking by, there was a student who recognized me. When I subbed there the first time on May 13th, uh, the fourth graders had buddies and one of the buddies recognized me and then they found out that I could juggle so I gave like a little uh, encore of my juggling to them. And then afterward I ran into another teacher who was there when I was there and she remembers me and that's when her and I and my former third grade teacher got to talking and that's when he announced to her that I'm an author to a book and, and promoting anti-bullying and all that. And then we walked over to the classroom where I subbed at the second time. Uh, the teacher who was there when I was there in fifth grade, now he teaches fourth grade, and he wanted to get a selfie with me and send it to a couple of former teachers uh, that were here when I was a student here, teachers whom I knew to. I got to go to a couple of the classrooms that I subbed for and just said, have an excellent, safe summer. They're all happy to see me. Once again, I say that it's Friday, June 10th, 2022. The last day of school for middle schoolers and high schoolers in this district was yesterday. Today's the last day of school for elementary schools. And unfortunately, Newport Mesa Unified School District told me that they don't keep sub lists in the summer. So I'm most likely not going to be able to sub for uh, summer school this summer. And so I'm foreseeing a kind of bit melancholy summer, kind of bit bittersweet and such, kind of bit sad, but kind of bit relaxing at the same time. Um, I wish to have schools to go to, more smiles to put on students' faces and to encourage them and such. However, I am going to return on August 15th right here to Ensign Intermediate School uh, for my AST or Advanced Student Teaching semester. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm excited for the teaching part, maybe not the, uh, the rigorous part like the Cal TPA Cycle 1, uh, Cal TPA Cycle 2 is going to be a lot more rigorous than Cycle 1. But as always, I'm going to try my best and um, just have a very fun and great time. Subbing here and being a student teacher here since January 3rd has been incredible, has been remarkable. If I were to say, I would say about 97% of the students here alone have been nothing but kind and respectful toward me and I really, really appreciated that. I really had no idea what would happen when I started, but pretty soon I, I found that this is my passion, this is my motivation, and the students really helped in that. 
the students were very kind and respectful once again. Um, I got a lot of compliments that I was their favorite student teacher, their favorite sub, and not just here at the school but elsewhere that I subbed at in elementary schools. It's like almost everywhere that I go by the end of the day people wish that I was their sub tomorrow and such. Um, the students really helped make me feel accepted, make me feel belong, like this is my purpose and such. Uh, again, it's just going to be a bit sad to leave, uh, consequently. And of course, I love teaching, I love helping people. I love seeing the wheels turning and the confirmation that they understand what I'm teaching them, what I'm tutoring them in. I also want to append that the acceptance didn't just stop inside these gates, but everywhere that I go outside in the neighborhood, um, whether I go to stores or places, or I'm just walking around, parks, libraries, I can't tell you how many times, almost every day, where someone or many people just say, Hi Mr. Kenslow, how are you doing Mr. Kenslow? And how's your day and everything? And that just makes me feel great and accepted. Every time I hear those greetings and sometimes people say, Hey, I like this YouTube video, or I just subscribe, and I always reply, I thank you for your support. Every time I hear that, I'm thankful. I'm thankful to be an encouragement. And I also appreciate the acceptance, especially as a person coming from a background of autism spectrum disorder and having some discrimination that I had growing up in schools since I was in kindergarten, um, out in the neighborhood and such. I made a lot of friends growing up, nevertheless, but it was kind of hard to find that acceptance and to feel that acceptance and such and I've been feeling a lot while subbing around and while being a student teacher here. Nevertheless, I am excited that I'm going to be returning here on August 15th and for everybody out there who is in summer vacation right now, I hope that you have a very fun and safe summer. You've worked hard, you've done good, and you deserve it. Keep up the good work. I do want to pen it is a camaraderie with students and staff and people at the district and of course Vanguard University. How much these professors commit to their students, the support system that we have with our professors and one another as students. And I am feeling very proud that I could call myself a teacher. Like, I'm a teacher, albeit a substitute teacher, student teacher, but I'm just proud inside to be able to help the future of this world. Also, I want to say that it doesn't matter where I'm at, but I'm always asked how tall I am. It doesn't matter wherever I sub at, a lot of people everywhere ask how tall I am, and I say about 6'2 and 3 quarters, and yeah, I guess I am very tall.